Greetings, opera lovers. It's Rona, live from Pittsburgh. I have just finished watching De Rosencavalier live stream from Glindborn. If I hadn't titled my video, I would have liked to have asked you this question. What opera do you think we're in? There's one woman on stage wearing a mauve uh, housecoat. In the center of the stage is another woman wearing a dress that looks like something Lady Gaga would wear. It's strapless. It's a bizarre print. She's very beautiful. She makes a great looking presence on stage. And on the other side of the stage is another woman dressed up like a man, as you would sometimes see in opera, playing a, a woman playing in a pants roll uh, with what I would call a four o'clock or a five o'clock shadow truly ill-fitting clothing and an awful wig. The uh, set behind them is sort of a triangle. It's like the walls came in like this. And there actually is a triangle that you can see on the wall. And the walls in this set, as in every set of the opera, is covered in truly hideous patterned wallpaper. So yes, of course, it's Rosencavalier. Why wouldn't you know that? So this production was written about quite a bit, and there was a big firestorm about it because the critics were so critical of Miss Arot, Tara Arot, who played Octavian de Rosencavalier. They criticized her physique. They criticized her because she was pudgy or looked to, not tall enough, not regal enough, and they got it all wrong. Correct. They got it wrong, and I'm going to get it right. What was wrong with this production was the production. It was such a mishmash of styles. I know this is a festival, and festivals should be fun. And this had the makings of fun, except that I didn't find it very amusing. The scenery was just awful. And the costumes, besides the fact that I didn't like them, they were ill-fitting, especially for Miss Arot. Tara Arot is a young Irish mezzo. I believe she's 27. Her voice is wonderful. And instead of uh, concentrating on what she looked like, I wish the critics had spent more time talking about her singing, which was really very good. Also, uh, the singing of Kate uh, Royal as the Marshallin was also very good. In one review, it said her singing was a revelation. I didn't think it was a revelation. I just thought it was very good. Playing Sophie was someone whose name is new to me, not her last name, but her first, Theodora Georgiou. And just the way I like it, Sophie should sound young and innocent, even if she's not so young and innocent. And this Sophie lacked the beautiful high floating notes that should just sound like they've come from heaven. She's a very nice singer. I just don't think this is an ideal role for her playing the, the lecherous Baron Ox was someone else whose name was new to me, and he's Lars Volt. He was, in my opinion, a very, very good, complete package as Baron Ox, both in his singing and his acting. In the pit was the London Philharmonic. They sounded great, as they should. And leading the orchestra was a conductor whose name I did not know. It's Robin Ticciati, something like that. He's also very young, 31 years old. So musically, this opera just doesn't grab me, but it's, it's got some great moments, as in the final trio and the presentation of the rose. And the presentation of the rose was such a gigantic disappointment that I was, I was done by then. In this scene, 
when Octavian presents the rose to Sophie, there has to be magic. And without that magic, there's just no reason to watch or listen. And although Miss Roth sang it very well, I think she was poorly directed. And so I would like to say that the worst thing about this production was the direction. And that was by someone whose name is Richard Jones. There are so many directors out there today. I have no idea who they are. But this was really, um, it just didn't serve the opera well. In their mixture of styles being fanciful, baroque, modern, silly, it just didn't work for me. Perhaps if you had seen it, you would have loved it. But the main thing is that the critics really raised a big brouhaha over nothing. The one they should have criticized the most was the costume designer and the director. They deserve the blame for really what was close to a disaster on stage, in my opinion. There was some nice applause at the end of the opera. There are so many smaller parts. I'd get all their names mixed up. But I have to say that in the secondary roles, everyone was a pro. I just have to mention two things about the production that were truly outstanding. And I'm not saying this in a good way. As the opera opens, the marshalin is taking a shower. She looks to be completely nude, but I heard it was a bodysuit. So you saw her breasts with nipples and complete frontal nudity. And actually, it, wasn't, it was neither shocking nor sexy. It was just like, oh. And then in the scene uh, for uh, the home of Sophie, the scenery was lit up in the back with the word Faninal, as if it's a lighting fixture. I just didn't get it. Okay, I'm looking forward to some other summer festival productions, and I hope I like the productions better. As most of you know, I like to hear operas for the great singing, but today's production put me off so much that I really couldn't enjoy the very good singing that was presented and the very good orchestra playing. Okay, 